what are some of the other specific issues that you might want to convey in making an enduring power of attorney to your attorneys? I think firstly, it's the financial matters. Um, I'll need someone to look after my assets, make sure that um, everything is there for me, it's being used wisely for my care and it will last for, for the time that I pass away. My father, and I'll add legal matters into it, sadly my father went through a divorce during that time. So he needed Peter and myself to look after his legal matters, so that's, that may not apply to everyone. There's also personal situations, personal circumstances, maintaining contact with other family members for cousins and things like that. It's making decisions about um, your care. And initially, you know, I would like to stay at home, but obviously as things change, that will change too. And being able to make all those type of decisions. What would be one of the most important aspects of your enduring power of attorney? This one comes from listening to a lot of other people. And it's like a termination clause. And I suppose that I've, you know, say I make the wrong judgment. The person who I thought was trusted, who was going to look after me, isn't doing the right thing. Then I would put a termination clause in to allow other family members to enact that if needed.